everyone. Welcome to my channel, Biology All in One. See, if you are watching this channel for the first time, please do subscribe and ring the bell icon which is just beside the subscription. Thank you. See, we, today we are discussing the 6th class CBSC topic, Food, where does it come from? In this topic, the introduction part and the ingredients topic we have already discussed in the earlier class. If you didn't notice that, you just go through that video which is there in the playlist of 6th CBSC class. You just have a look there and come here again. Thank you. See, in, after the topic, today we are going to know food eaten by living organisms. Food eaten by living organisms. Actually, while coming to the food habitations, there are different variations in between person to person and organisms to the other organisms. On this earth, for example, if you observe the mosquitoes, mosquitoes sucks the blood. The food upon the blood only. And if you observe the organisms which are present on this earth are categorized into three types on, on the basis of the food habits they have. See, the first one is herbivores. Second, carnivores. And the third one is omnivores. Means the organisms are categorized into three types on the basis of their food habits. In the earlier classes, like fifth, fourth, in your primary classes, uh, you have already gone through this, I think so. Now you just have a look, we'll discuss in a clear manner. See, herbivores means the organisms which feed upon only the plants. Nothing but the organisms are known as plant eaters. Only the plants. Only the herbs. Only the herbs. Such kind of the organisms are known as herbivores. And second one is carnivores. These organisms are nothing but flesh eaters. The organisms which depends on the other organisms. Means sir, one animal is eating the other animal. Such kind of the organisms are known as carnivores. We call these organisms as uh, flesh eaters. And the, sec and the final one is nothing but omnivores. Here, these organisms eat both the uh, plants as well as, as well as uh, flesh means animal. These organisms are depending upon the herbivores as herbivores, carnivores and on the plants. Means sir, uh, here these organisms, omnivores are eating the plants as well as the flesh. Means nothing but meat. The examples, if you observe the examples of these organisms, Herbivores, the best example is cow, goat, etc. We have many other organisms which generally fed upon the herbivores. Sorry, which generally fed upon plants. Those are nothing but herbivores. And if you observe these carnivores, these animals are known as flesh eaters. Flesh eaters in the sense, uh, these organisms are totally depends on other organisms for food. These organisms are tiger, cheetah, you know many more were there, etc. And next to here omnivores. The best example for the omnivores are crow, human being. We are the human beings will eat plants as well as the animals, etc. Many more examples were there. For your understanding, I am giving just few examples here. You see, my dears, if you see very clearly, here plants are eating, means uh, plants eaten by the organisms actually here. The carnivores are also, carnivores are eating the animals which generally eats the grass. Means which 
generally depends on the herbs plant eaters so these organisms plus these organisms were eaten as well as uh, these organisms these organisms and plants were eaten by the omnivores if you observe the food chain and all actually i am telling you that plants are always known as producers right plants are always known as producers why the plants are known as producers here we are directly or indirectly depending upon the plants that's why these are known as producers plants are always known as uh, producers next uh, after the producers we are the consumers consumers the organisms uh, differentiated into three types again producers consumers and uh, they come users this is actually not there in your textbook for your clear information i am giving you this also producers consumers and the decomposers we are the consumers and the waste material the tax waste material is decomposed by the decomposers mostly microorganisms are come under this category of decomposers understand this is what we generally eat then now let us see what is the source of the food see while coming to the plants huh? we know that plant is the first general main source without plant we are not having anything on this earth we are not having any animal we are not having food see that's the reason we are saying that the plants are the producers food source or food resource the source of food okay that is what we are going to discuss see actually the food sources the source of food is categorizing into three types one is pulses and the one is cereals and next one is vegetables from the plants we are gaining the food we are obtaining the food in three different types one is pulses and another one is cereals and next one is vegetables and fruits also come under this category only actually while coming to the cereals these are the fruit part we generally say i will tell you very clearly you just have a look pulses the pulses are rich with the proteins 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 are generally produced by eating the if you eat the pulses you will get the proteins these are protein rich foods all the pea plants all the pea plants are come under this category pulses are come under pea plant category understand pea plants are come under this pulses category why these pulses are come under the pea plant category because these pea plants are having the leguminous these are also known as leguminous crops why these are known as leguminous crops inside the roots there are root nodules the roots are having the root nodules you have to know that what are root nodules for first time first of all if you few observe the roots actually in the nitrogen fixation now these are all topics are very unknown to you if it become familiar you will understand very clearly but listen here i will tell you see here in the pea plants they need much nitrogen nitrogen is necessary but they go in the nitrogen deficient areas whatever the nitrogen is present in the soil which is under the ground that nitrogen is being collected and stored in the roots known as root nodules these are the forming here as a root nodules root nodules are forming root nodules are nothing but here 
nitrogen filled components nitrogen filled substance the bulging part of the root is known as root nodules such kind of the root nodules are present in the leguminous crops leguminous crops means the fruit part is having all the components like this means uh, these are in this manner all the pea plants are having uh, uh, all the fruits in this manner understand see these are enriched with the proteins here nitrogen nitrogen is present in the root nodules root nodules are present in the leguminous crops here nitrogen fixation is happening this process is also known as symbiosis you will get this topic in the in further classes you will understand very clearly as you are the 6th class students you cannot understand very clearly here but you will understand very clearly in further classes here also if you keep your concentration you can easily understand the root nodules are present in the leguminous crops root nodules are nothing but the components which are enriched with the nitrogen actually the leguminous crops uh, can can uh, take the nitrogen which is present in the soil and form as a nodule these nodules are very helpful very helpful for the soil even for the fertility see if you if you cultivate the crop along with the roots uh, after finishing the crop what will happen see that crop is enriched with the nitrogen nitrogen is very essential for the plant growth okay that is very essential uh, essential mineral which is present in the soil okay that type of crops are known as pulses and the pulses are uh, enriched with the proteins so these are generally present in the pea plants now we will see the cereal crops cereal first of all we have to see the examples of the proteins the pea plants all the pea plants are come under this like groundnuts also will come under this category only okay now let us see cereals cereals are the crops cereals are the crops which generally forms in the fruit region actually we know how the flower forms after the flower how the fruit will develop see in the fruit area in the fruit area these cereals will generally forms these are enriched with the carbohydrates carbohydrates are fully present in the cereal crops mainly the cereals are very essential for us we are taking in a much quantity what are those cereals we are taking in high quantity are maize next uh, we are taking rice we are taking wheat all these are nothing but the cereals okay see here vegetables the last and final one are vegetables here the vegetables are enriched with vitamins minerals and roughages here vitamins minerals and roughages not only these along with this water is present 70 to 80 percentage of the water is present in these vegetables only that's why without getting the constipation constipation means uh, the stool movement getting struggling is nothing but the constipation the, there is no bowel movement uh, i mean sorry uh, bowel movement is pausing that kind of a situation is known as constipation without getting the constipation problem we have to eat the roughages in a perfect quantity you know what are vegetables right vitamins minerals roughages uh, water all are present only in the vegetables zero you know different kinds of the vegetables cucumber wattle gourd next uh, lady finger all these are different kinds of the vegetables which we are using daily right we are using leafy vegetables as well as uh, and different kinds of the vegetables the food resources are the food sources we have pulses cereals vegetables are the main food sources which generally comes from the plants okay these plants are eaten up by the animals the animals every animal directly or indirectly depending upon the plants only see where does it come from food where does it come from where does it come from this is nothing nothing but it is coming from the plants only so 
we'll discuss the remaining topics about the plant, its structure and the different types of the food habits does it contain and what are the different kinds of the methods of cooking and where the different kinds of the people are having different kinds of the food habits, why they are having different uh, food habits uh, in different areas. We'll see all those topics in the next class. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and ring the bell icon for more updates. Keep watching. Thank you.